when a student starts at Hausner, their very first exposure is a really joyful and happy exposure with shapes and numbers and patterns and colors. I remember when I taught kindergarten, one of our first lessons was, what's a number? Like, why does a number matter? Why do we need these in the world? How do they help us? Now that we're in second grade, we're really able to use different numbers to be multiplying and dividing and making sure we're reading problems and understanding what they mean and doing multi-step word problems and knowing not only how to solve them, but why solving them is going to help us now and also in the future. It's a great feeling when you are teaching a math class and the whole class is smiling and their hands are shooting into the air and they are engaged and participatory. We want them to have that feeling of success with math. So that way when they're going to upper school, they're able to use that strong foundation and manipulate the numbers in different ways and handle and tackle those more challenging problems. We cover students who need to progress through pre-algebra, algebra, and even geometry to prepare them for excellent, challenging high school and college curriculum. Because of our small class sizes, as a teacher, I can form a relationship with each student and help them progress from where they are to where they really need to be and want to be. As we teach and as we encounter the student for the first time, we see where they are, where are their strengths, where are their weaknesses, and we can have the flexibility to place them in a position to be successful. We have two major kind of lanes through our curriculum. One, they will be ready for calculus as 12th graders, which is a wonderful pre-college curriculum. And the second is even more accelerated. They will be ready for calculus at 11th grade. But it's not a race. We always emphasize to parents, to the students, that they're not competing with each other. Each one is an individual. Each one has challenges and each one we can support along the way. It's not good enough just to be successful at math. We want them to feel they can learn, they can achieve, they can make mistakes, they can be resilient, and they want to learn more. When I came to Hausner, I was really impressed. It was notable how many kids said their favorite subject was math. There was a real palpable enthusiasm about math. I'm a learning specialist on the learning support team. Essentially, our goal is to meet every kid where they're at. Whatever their learning profile is, we try to accommodate their needs and teach them in the way that works best for them. Some kids need more physical stimulation or multimodality or hands-on experiences. Some kids need more visual. Some kids need more interactive. So we really try to meet kids wherever their needs are. I run the math enrichment program at Hausner, and that entails uh, weekly pull-out sessions with small groups of students. And I also do one-on-one uh, -on -one pull outs with students as well on a weekly basis. My approach to coaching is to do as little as possible. And uh, it's not because I'm mean, it's because the more involved the students are in the process, the more they'll get out of it. So when a student asks me a question, my first response is, that's a great question, what do you think? Always put it back to them, always keep them in the driver's seat as much as possible, and they'll just get a lot more out of the experience. My number one goal is really simple. I want students to think of math as fun. I want them to think of math as interesting, as challenging, Sometimes it's mysterious and ultimately beautiful. 